Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another round of skincare favorites. So recently when I was washing my face, I was surprised. <laughs> I was surprised to feel how smooth my skin is, which then made me realize that I actually have clear skin. Um, I think when you have bad skin for a pretty long period of time, you will naturally start thinking that you'll always have bad skin. Even if your skin has pretty much cleared up and you only have like one to two spots, you always think that you still have acne and you still have bad skin and you don't have clear skin just because of that one one or two spots. So I believe that there are two major contributing factors to my clear skin. Number one is my decreased stress levels thanks to the circuit breaker and working from home. Number two is the new skincare products I have been using very consistently during this period of time and so today I thought I would do an updated skincare favorites to share with you guys what these amazing skincare products are. So the first product I have been loving is the by Wish Trend Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep water. So since I have not been breaking out as frequently and as aggressively as I used to, I decided to start paying more attention in treating and healing my acne marks. And therefore, I decided to start using AHA in my routine again. So if you have been following my videos, you'll know that my skin absolutely hates glycolic acid. Um, I just cannot have glycolic acid in my routine without it irritating or peeling my skin. So since I have this product on hand, I decided to give it a shot since mandelic acid is much more gentle as compared to glycolic acid it but at the same time this contains 5% so it's not too gentle to the point where it will take a long time to show any significant difference. I want to say that I have been using this product for probably over a month now and I don't have a fixed schedule of when I use AHA or BHA it really all depends on how my skin is feeling but I would say that I have been using this product maybe three to four times a week and never twice a day. So far I'm obviously very pleased and happy with my experience with this product. I love that it has never once irritated my skin and I love that it's low pH, it's fragrance free, alcohol free, oil free and it's also very affordable. Like I've mentioned I started using this product to help with the fading of my acne marks and I must say that I have seen a noticeable difference after using this product and in addition to that I feel like this product has also contributed to reducing clogs and breakouts and it also helps smooth my skin since it exfoliates away dead skin cells. My next skincare favorite is the I'm from Mackworth mask. So ever since the circuit breakup began I have been applying this mask every single morning and initially I did that not because of skincare but because I felt like the circuit breaker is a really great time to invest in self-care and so I started applying this mask every single morning for 15 minutes while I meditate as a form of self-care rather than specifically skincare. So this is the only mask I have on hand that is 100% safe for my sensitized and acne prone skin because it is oil free and so naturally it made me choose to use this because it's a mask that I know I can use frequently without worrying that it will clog my pores. So like I've mentioned, I started using this mask as an act of self-care rather than skincare but then after using it for a really long time every single day, I started seeing the skincare benefits that I was receiving from this mask and it is mainly its hydrating and soothing benefits. So overall, I would say that this mask has really helped maintain good moisture levels in my skin and thus reducing inflammation and preventing dehydration and irritation from both the AHA and BHA I'm using in my routine. Since I'm also using the I'm from Mackworth Essence, I feel like using these two products really complement each other and it really helped boost the moisture and soothing effects of the mugwort. Finally, this mask also contains little bits of tea leaves in it, I believe, which you can use to physically exfoliate your skin while you rinse it off. Usually, uh, I would just wash it off with water without rubbing it all around my face, but that is an option for you if you want to physically exfoliate your skin. The next favorite is the Ponadra Extreme Spot Serum. So this is a product I've mentioned in my Ponadra review video, and so I'm just gonna quickly describe it again. So this serum contains three key ingredients, and there are Centella Asia Tica, niacinamide and snail which are all three very beneficial ingredients for acne prone skin because they not only help with the healing of acne but acne marks as well. These three ingredients are also hydrating which I find beneficial for people with acne prone skin as well especially if you want to use spot treatments which tend to be drying. So personally I just find this serum to be very convenient because it basically contains all the essential ingredients that my skin needs. Of course I also love that this is fragrance free, alcohol free and oil free and it also has a really pleasant lightweight gel like consistency which is not too heavy for my oily skin and it also makes it suitable to be used during the day and night. 
So this is another product I want to say I have been using for over a month now and I love it so much that I am actually finishing this bottle but that's okay because I actually got myself a new one. The other Ponajo skincare product I have been loving is the Jeju Milk Soft Foaming Cleanser. I have actually emptied this cleanser already which is why I feel like I must mention it in this video. So this cleanser is very similar to my Holy Grail cleanser which is the Etude House Syndrome pH 6.5 with cleanser except uh, this one contains milk protein extract which supposedly nourishes and moisturizes the skin. From my experience with this cleanser, I will say that it is very moisturizing because it has never once left my skin feeling tight or uncomfortable after cleansing, but even so, my skin always feel very well cleansed. Initially, I was quite worried about the essential oil in this product, but it has never once irritated my skin. Similar with the Etude House cleanser, because it is a very soft foam, I find that this cleanser is a very gentle cleanser that will be suitable for people with acne. Moving on to the next favorite, I've got the Cosrx Aloe Vera Oil-Free Moisture Cream. So during the first week of working from home, I started noticing that my skin would always get so greasy during the afternoon and it made me realize that it is because I'm no longer working in a drying air conditioned office. So that was when I started searching for lighter moisturizers to use. So I started out by using the Etude House Moist Relief All-in-One Gel which I really liked and it worked really well for me as well but then I remembered that I have this moisturizer on hand. So this is a moisturizer that I didn't use frequently in the past because I used to feel like it's not hydrating enough for my dehydrated skin but now it's pretty much the perfect time to use it and so I did and I ended up really really loving it. In fact I love it more than the Etude House Syndrome Gel. I think it's because this is a moisturizer whereas the Etude House Syndrome Gel is more of a multifunctional product. I find that this is more hydrating but at the same time it's also very light for my oily skin and I love that it manages to keep my skin matte for the entire day. I also love that it's just so comfortable and refreshing to wear especially because it's so hot every single day now. So I only use this moisturizer during the daytime because I do sleep with the air conditioner on and I want to quickly mention that after using this moisturizer, I will always go in with the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun which is a sunscreen that contains quite a number of fatty alcohols and so I find that using these two products together really helps seal the moisture in my skin without causing any excessive clogging. The very last skincare favorite is the I'm From Fake Boosting Essence. Out of all the three new fake products from I'm From, this is definitely my favorite one and even though I did do a review on all three products, I feel like I didn't really talk much about this product which is a pity because I actually do like it a lot and I have been enjoying it a lot. So I figured out that I'm just going to mention it in this video to give it more credit. So this essence contains 62.7% of fake extract and along with other ingredients, this essence basically provides brightening, moisturizing, soothing and anti-aging benefits. As I've mentioned earlier on, I have been using the I'm From Mugworth Essence but I've actually emptied it already ready. <laughs> So I have been using this instead and as I've mentioned in my I'm From Fig review, I do feel like the Fig Boosting Essence is slightly less hydrating than the Mugworth Essence. But even so, I still like it because I love that its ingredients are safe for my sensitized and acne prone skin. I love that it's still moisturizing and soothing and every time I use it, I just feel like my skin still feels very well hydrated and comfortable. Additionally, this one has a slightly thicker consistency as compared to the Mugworth Essence which I feel feel nicer on the skin. So those are my new skincare favorites that have been keeping my skin happy and healthy during this period of time. I think I might be filming a quarantine skincare routine video as well because there are a couple of things that I have modified and changed in my routine during this period of time which I want to share with you guys so you can keep a lookout on that. So I know I have been uploading a lot of cooking related videos but don't worry I have not forgotten about skincare related videos. Um, I do have skincare related videos planned out. It's just that skincare related videos take a longer time to film because I need to to like specifically set a time to film it and it takes a long time to film. So that is why there's not as many skincare related videos as compared to cooking vlogs but yeah I just want to let you know that I have not forgotten about skincare videos and I will not stop uploading skincare related videos. So it comes to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye! Say what's on your mind,